That's the very first thing I'd recommend doing. Now, the second thing honestly is also in that same category. And that's turning on gestures. As soon as you buy the Note 20 or the Note 20 Ultra, for some reason, gestures are not enabled by default, which is kind of annoying. So the same exact process, you want to make your way over to settings. You want to make your way down to display, which is right here. And then you want to scroll down until you find navigation bar, which is right here. You want to go ahead and tap that. Now you have a couple of different options. As you can see, you have full screen gestures and you have navigation buttons. Now, as soon as you enable your phone and you turn it on, most probably this is what's enabled. And you might like this, you know, so you can keep these on. But for a majority of people out there, including me, I do prefer full screen gestures. It gives you more real estate on that screen. And the, you know, gestures are much newer. They're much more, you know, Kind of up to date the navigation buttons are kind of older that's an older way of input and this one is much better and that's honestly something i really really do prefer about this phone and that's suitable for both the note 20 and note 20 ultra now the next thing